this is Kate with the St. Louis Science Center. Today we are going to make for a fun at home science experiment a boat. All you will need is two styrofoam plates, two plastic cups, a bendy straw, some scissors, a hot glue gun, and maybe some paint to decorate. Your first step is to take one of the paper plates, the hot glue gun, and put a good amount of glue around the edge of the top of the rim of the plate. And then we're going to take our other paper plate and stack them on top of each other. So they kind of look like a saucer. Then we're going to take one of our cups, again put some glue on the rim of the bottom of the cup, and we're going to place the other cup on top of it. Put some glue on the rim of the bottom of either one of the cups, doesn't matter. and stick it to the top of our plates. Now the next step, you might need the help of an adult. You're going to take a sharp object, I'm going to use the point of some scissors, and you want to put a small hole on the bottom of the top cup. We're going to poke that through. Again, it's going to be a small hole, small enough to get a straw through. make it a little bit bigger. All right, I've got my hole in there and I'm going to take the small end of my bendy straw, stick it inside of there. Oh, it's not big enough. Oh, that'll be great. Stick that inside of there. Then you can decorate with some paint if you'd like to. And then we'll experiment and see exactly how this works. I've decorated my boat. I've stuck it in a tub of water. And what I'm going to do now is pour some water. I'm using colored water so that you can see our trail of water. And I'm going to stick my straw in the water. And the pressure of the water propels our boat forward. So try this experiment at home. Um, you can try putting the peller at different angles, see if it'll turn. Maybe add some dish soap to the water. Experiment with surface tension. Just so long as the straw is in the water, it should be doing its own thing, propelling it forward. Try this experiment at home and let us know how it goes at scienceoffcenter.org.